Where does the forest come from? From the substrate created over millions of years by living beings, plants and animals that populated the earth. This is the origin of the forest. There is a song of an Italian singer, Fabrizio De André, that says, nothing comes from diamonds, flowers come from manure. Earth is also the name of our planet, where life takes its different forms. Flowers, vegetable gardens, trees, this is the plant kingdom. The mammals, animal kingdom. Here are also the carnivores. <laughs> the lion. It's the biological cycle of life on our planet. Plant and animal kingdom follow each other. Assuming that man is only one of the many forms of life that inhabit the Earth, we approach it an uncomfortable theme, especially for designers, death. And we redesign the formal outfit that revolves around these delicate moments, starting from the coffin, a subject avoided in the design world. It's more considered by archaeologists for the study of societies far from our own. For them, the burial is a privileged moment to investigate the cultural universe of an ancient population. We thought a bit in the same way. If in a few thousand years, archaeologists would investigate our century, what would they understand about us, about our culture? As Bruno Munari said, the design project is not free creation. The project is a time of reflection and criticism that basically assumes that the world, as it is, does not suit us. And indeed, we want that future archaeologists could think that in a society where progress destroyed nature, there were also dissidents that thought differently. So, getting back to our Capsula Mundi, we developed our project looking at death as an inevitable phenomenon in the biological pathway of all living beings. So, stripped for intellectual structures that differentiate the various cultures and religions. The starting point is the Capsula. That is an egg-shaped pod, a perfect shape, archaic, which seems to survive it over time. On its inside, the body of the deceased person is laid in fetal position. The capsula will then be planted in the earth like a seed, a tree chosen in life by the deceased is planted on top of it. The capsula is made of a biodegradable material that will facilitate the slow mineralization process accompanying the body into the plant kingdom. The sign that will remain will therefore be a tree. A tree will mark that place of memory. A tree, symbol of the union between earth and sky, body and soul. A tree will be what remains as a legacy for posterity and the future of our planet. Nowadays, to make a coffin, a tree must be cut down. The coffin has a short life cycle and a strong environmental impact. A tree takes between 10 and 40 years to reach maturity, and the coffin is of use for just three days. We want to plant a tree rather than cut it down a tree next to another to form a forest. Where would you rather prefer to go to remember your loved ones? In a grey cemetery of grave and tombstones? Or in a green forest surrounded by trees? 
Imagine to go visit a friend who passed away. How do you feel when you are in front of the tombstones? <laughs> and how would you feel in the forest, in front of the tree that you know was chosen by your friend as a legacy for you? We have reflected also on why funeral objects and symbols are made to move just one feeling, that of separation, loss, deprivation. In primitive cultures, in different places of the world, there is evidence of burial of men and women in fetal position into large earthenware jars that symbolize the boom. The perception of a continuous flow of life, the concept of death and rebirth through the union with the earth was clear. What is left of this ancient intuition to us, modern people? When a person dies, now we say that he lost his life. That is because, uh, maybe, because uh, we feel to be above nature. Or better, we feel to be outside nature. And Capsulamundi proposed to change this point of view. That is a moment of verification of the natural order for all living beings, in which human beings are included. It's a moment of transformation of matter that leads human beings into the cycle of life and its perpetual renewal. In our project, Capsula Mundi, we are referring to several laic and universal life symbols, such as the egg, the tree, the fetal position. Each of us can choose the ritual or a ceremony that feels most appropriate according to personal beliefs, cultural or religious beliefs. But uh, we would like that the tree remain unmarked without any sign on it. You may wonder, how can I identify the tree I'm looking for in a forest? A recording of GPS coordinates may help you to find the tree you are looking for. And a, a digital archive associated with those coordinates will store information such as recorded messages or photos. We imagine a forest who can guard throughout the years the information, but especially a place where we can stroll with children and maybe teach them about the different species of trees. Finally, a forest respected and protected by the community for its sentimental value. Our proposal is a seed for the future of our planet. A sacred forest. Thank you.